Welcome back 514. Now new developments tonight with a series of unfortunate events unfolding at a laundromat in Lacombe. The laundry room went up in flames overnight just a week after deputies say a woman was attacked by a convicted sex offender there. WDSU reporter Ariel Brumfield is in Lacombe getting answers and getting to the bottom of all this. The series of events is extremely ironic. The cause of this fire is still not known, and this, I'm told, is the only laundromat in the Lacombe area. So now council members tell me they are working to provide resources for people in the area who need the service, but also protections against sex offenders. It was just by the grace of God. My biggest fear was that my kids were going to have to grow up without me. Less than 24 hours ago, Bree Morgan told me this was a place she never wanted to return to, and now she won't have to. Already in the process of healing from the physical trauma. Now the laundromat where deputies say she was attacked by convicted sex offender Nicholas Tronchin a week ago is also in her rear view after it burned down. The front of the building is a complete loss. There are some areas in the back that is salvageable. But as far as the laundromat's concerned, it is a complete loss. The state fire marshal's office says they are investigating, but at this time cannot confirm the fire was started by suspicious activity. We're a small community. This is all we have, and it's used a lot from what I understand. You know, I've had a lot of people reaching out to me. So we want to do something to get them some help. Councilman Joan Postado tells me this was the only laundromat in the area, so they're working to get a mobile laundry truck in the meantime or transportation for people in need. He too is shocked by the timelines of events. We knew based on statistics that this type of crime would probably happen due to the fact that we have 12 sex offender homes with almost 150 sex offenders in them, many of them tier three. He says it took something unfortunate to bring necessary change. We've crafted an ordinance starting in October. As soon as I was sworn in, it was our first priority. The ordinance has a lot of conditions, a lot of regulatory over these top, this type of housing and we know that it's going to make a difference. And Councilman Joe and Posado, he tells me they're planning to move forward with that ordinance in April. Reporting in Lacombe, I'm Ariel Brumfield, WDSU News. And the cause of the fire remains under investigation, but we are told it's believed to have been related to a dryer that was in use. To watch our exclusive story with their survivor, Bree Morgan, you can visit our website, WDSU.com.